Hi, this is going to be a quick overview of the TX Distinction AI1000 integrated amplifier. Um, the reason I'm choosing to do a little bit of a, a review and an overview of this item is that it's very difficult to find any information about any of the TX Distinction products that are out there. And, you know, um, that's kind of partially one of the reasons why I purchased it because. Um, I had gone through a variety of Marantz and Denon and a host of integrated and I couldn't find anything out about this. I really liked the look of the actual, um, of the series so I said, yeah, sure, we'll take a punt and I did. So uh, I'm not disappointed with it by any means, it's a great amplifier and I'm going to give you a, a little bit of a run through of just the aesthetics and its features. Um, firstly, it comes really nicely double box, that's the, the box there. Uh, Double box comes with its own little bag um, internally um, that it comes in. Um, pretty nicely packaged in there, and a remote control, power cable, and a manual, and that's it. Um, which is fine, that's it's all you need. The remote itself, um, you won't really see much about them online, uh, which is very, very nice. The top section of that is pure aluminium, so this guy weighs a good bit, it's probably two pounds in weight, and there's a nice tactile feel of all the buttons. As in, it uh, it makes a nice actual uh, positive click when you press them, so you know uh, you know you've you know pressed it. Um, the remote also will you will actually serve to um, control um, TX amps, um, its CD players, and there is also a tuner that is um, that is for this particular series also. So uh, again, that's the uh, that's the remote there. So again, and it's nice and slender. It's it, it feels good in the hand. It's not cheap. They they put a couple of dollars into it, and that's that's a good sign. Um, now visually, this is not. This is the smallest of the series. Um, it puts out 85 watts per channel at eight ohms, and I think 125 into four ohms. So it is four ohm rated, which is nice. Um, the build is very very nice. This is the silver. It also comes in black. And I'm just going to show you just a couple of the features I particularly liked about this model, um, just aesthetically, and I'm sure we can go in close and have a look. Um, initially, is the um, our actual our center volume control. Um, what is really nice about this, it is aluminium, and uh, you can really see it. It's cast aluminium with a polished front on it, and it does look very very nice. All the buttons as well, I think, are aluminium. Um, and you know it does show so and also obviously the front plate now the front plate um, is what looks to me to be about three eight well it's probably half an inch um, it's half an inch thick uh, of an actual aluminium actual plate and it is really really nice and there's this scalloped kind of finish and it, the scalloped finish is um, is quite nicely done because it's not shiny it's um, it's like that cast kind of finish or you know when they put uh they use acid on the on the metal to give it that kind of you know feel but it is very very aesthetically nice it's a minimalist kind of look and it does look very very good um to the right of the front we've got all our inputs so we've got sacd which is here we have cd we have tuner we've got auxiliary tape and bypass bypass is for let's say for example like you've got your home theater receiver and you want to use this guy to drive the fronts or that. So the bypass function is nice. You also see it in models such as the Marantz um, PM8004 and, and that, you know, because they know these days that a lot of times people want to integrate a nice two-channel amplifier into their home theater and take a little bit of the, the grunt work off the actual receiver. Um, so that is uh, that's quite nice. Unfortunately, there is not automatic um, detection of that. Like on the Marantz PM8004, it will turn on and off uh, in the bypass mode, whereas this does not. It's actually, it's as I get into this a little bit more, it's a very minimal piece, both aesthetically and functionally. We've got our, our standard full-size headphone jack, and we have an I.O. receiver, and we have our power switch. Now, this power switch is really interesting um, because there's no standby mode on this on this model. Uh, and again, these are all things I'm finding out because you cannot find any information about these uh, about these units. So when you look at the remote control, there is no um, there's no power switch or on it. Now that is not a deal killer um, 
for a lot of people. For me, it's not. I'm used to it. Like my Marantz reference um, uh, integrated amp there, the, the PM uh, 15S2 does not have an actual, um, does not have a power switch on it. The new, uh, the PM14 S1 that has just come out has a power, has a standby mode on it. Like standby modes are nice, but you know, uh, you get used to not having them. So that uh, that's pretty much it on the front. The top again is very very. Um, there's not much there. There is a grill, um, and that's where heat sinks are beneath here. There's a single toroidal power supply in this. If you move move up to the AI 2000 series, that actually has a dual mono toroidal um, setup, whereas this makes do with a single one. If we look underneath, we can see the same actual grill underneath which is nice it's a good it's a good idea in, in terms of airflow and that and these are our feet our feet are nice I think they again that they are actually that's that's real metal and then a quite a nicely designed rubber foot and it's it actually it plants it sits very very nicely and the the build quality is there and um, it's certainly streets ahead of the likes of let's say a PM 6004 if not quite on the same level as the PM 8004.